Hey everyone, welcome back. So as I said in last week's video, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the side effects that come along with the gadolinium injection. Uh, about two weeks ago, I did a video talking about it. Um, gadolinium is like a metal ion injection that I get, uh, and a lot of people do get when they're getting MRIs. When you have MS, uh, they usually give that to you as a contrast. Um, it makes it easier to see any active lesions or any lesions that would be harder to see just uh, by the naked eye. Um, I get it every single time I have an MRI. Uh, I've never had an issue, but doing more research and seeing the side effects that come along with it, um, I really am hesitant to get it uh, going forward unless I absolutely need it. So with this injection, I mean, you can have basic side effects that any medication can give you, you know, um, nausea, constipation, diarrhea, just certain things like that. But looking more into it, there's a lot of severe side effects that come along with it. Um, ones that I came across are it can cause blood clots, hair loss, fever. Uh, it can give you problems with your eyes, so you might lose vision, um, cognitive issues, some memory loss, um, what else did it say? Problems with your muscles, um, severe itching in your skin. And the list just goes on and on in regards to this gadolinium shot. I also read that um, they believe that getting this shot can be linked to people developing something called NSF, which from what I understand is almost something that affects your joints. So it makes it really hard for you to move and causes you severe pain. So I mean, these are some pretty serious side effects. And like when I'm reading about them, it's saying these are something that can happen to you if you are healthy. So if you have any of these issues already, I mean, it can just make them a lot worse. So I really think that doctors, neurologists, specialists, they really need to consider the patient and if this is absolutely necessary before going ahead and just giving it because as I know and from what I'm reading, it's so common. They just give it during MRIs. It's not a big deal. And so many people are cautioning um, against it and saying, please only give it if it's 100% necessary. So, I mean, again, that is your personal choice if you decide you want it or not. For me, I've never had a problem with it. I thought, great, if they can see more on my MRI that I get once a year, fantastic. But if this gadolinium contrast is staying in my system and can have that negative effect on me and I don't absolutely need it, then I think I am 100% against getting it. And this is something I am definitely going to talk to my specialist about when I see him next. And I actually will share the information with everybody about what he says to me and his thoughts on it because I'll be really interested to see what he says also. So thank you very much for watching. If you've had an experience uh, with gadolinium and you want to share it in the comments below, please do that. And I hope everybody has a great weekend.